Right now at 430, we are taking a deeper dive into a story many of you have been following for nearly a month now. Lisa Edwards became unconscious in Knoxville Police custody and then later died. Officers took her into custody at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center on February 5th. The hospital called officers after they discharged Edwards, saying she had refused to leave. The 60 year old woman lost consciousness in the back of a police cruiser while on the way to the hospital or actually the jail. I should say an autopsy revealed Edwards died the next day of a stroke. Knox County District Attorney General Sharm Allen determined the officers involved would not face criminal charges, but they are on leave pending an internal investigation. So joining me right now is Knoxville Police Chief Paul Noel. Chief Noel, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Now you did view the body cam video of the officers interactions with Edwards. What were your thoughts when you saw it? So, you know, came in on Sunday, actually right from church, and myself and the whole command staff, we watched the video. It was really tough to watch. It was, you know, obviously disturbed by what we saw. And, you know, the more we watched it, I mean, it's just, it's really a very, very tough video to watch. So, as we mentioned, there is now an internal affairs investigation. Explain this process for us. Sure. So, the way the process works is initially the, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations, they conduct a criminal investigation, and they send that to the district attorney general for review. Once that process is complete, then the internal administrative internal affairs investigation starts. So that's that just happened. TBI just sent over their report to us. So now we will conduct our internal review and then the internal affairs team will submit their findings, whether or not they were departmental violations or not, whether they were training right. violations or not. I will review those, I will approve those, and then we will make those findings public. What kind of timeline? Is there any standard timeline with these internal investigations? You know, reviews? there's not. You know, each, each investigation, you know, moves at a different pace depending upon access to information. I would say now that we have access to TBI's investigation, I would probably say around four to eight weeks mm -hmm. for us to not only for the investigation to complete, but it has to go through a review process through the chain of command. You know, there's several levels of review and approval. So that takes some time as well. Through this internal affairs investigation, could there ever possibly be changes or, or policy changes, um, training changes that could come forth? You know, absolutely. You know, so, you know, the investigation is once the investigation is completed then we're going to look at those findings but we're already looking at all of our policies and training now to see if there's anything we can approve and this is something we were doing outside of this process we're currently reviewing all of our policies and actually creating the first ever KPD policy manual before we have a collection of general orders and we're going to put them together in a policy manual but also we need to make sure that those policies are consistent with the way we operate and also the way we train. Chief Noel, we always appreciate you coming. We do thank you and we'll see you again next month. Thanks thank for you. having me.